This is the new Adafruit Itsy Bitsy featuring the ESP32 Wi-Fi Pico module. It comes in two flavors, one with a WFL antenna connector and the other with a PCB antenna. These come packed with goodies like 8 megabytes of flash, 2 megabytes of PS RAM, 20 GPIO, and a StemaQT connector. They also feature Bluetooth Classic, BLE, and an ultra low power deep sleep mode. With a Wi-Fi connection, you can use CircuitPython Web Workflow to program and debug your dev board. This works great with any Wi-Fi enabled computer or mobile device. It's also compatible with the WLED firmware so you can build advanced lighting projects with NeoPixel LEDs. The CircuitPython Web Workflow lets you upload and browse files on your Wi-Fi enabled dev board. You can also view and edit text files making minor edits quick and easy. You can use Adafruit's Web Serial ESP tool to install firmware over a USB connection using the Google Chrome browser. For all the details and documentation, check out the product guide on learn.adafruit.com. The CircuitPython web workflow is in beta, but it's open to the public. It supports most of Adafruit's Wi-Fi dev boards, so it's definitely worth checking out. You can 3D print our SnapFit case for the Itsy Bitsy ESP32 to keep it protected and mounted to your project. The board press fits into the case and gets secured with a mounting plate using fasteners. You can secure additional sensors and display breakouts to the top cover using the built-in mounting slots. With Stemma QT, you can daisy chain I2C breakouts and plug them directly to the Itsy Bitsy ESP32 so no soldering is required. For antenna users, you can panel mount a WFL antenna to the special case. With access to the header pins, you can connect external components using socket jumper cables or even a breadboard. We hope this video inspires you to check out Adafruit's new Itsy Bitsy ESP32 for your next Wi-Fi enabled project.